Online, you can be a personality from a different life. What is presented can be more important than who you actually are. The dreams that we chase online may not be truly ours. These dreams may be placed on us by unrealistic expectations which can be inherited from social media. Our conditioning can start when we are just small children. Some may feel as a child unprotected, unheard, and misunderstood. In the past, it was easy to see television and magazines as examples of what we should be. If we feel the need for acceptance, confidence, and security, we may try to copy the false images imposed on us by media. Some may find themselves choosing media-driven dreams to acquire a sense of fulfillment. The blossoming of social media has turned what was limited to television, magazines, and newspapers into something that follows us everywhere. What are the symptoms of social media addiction? Here's a list. Sleep disorders. Being overweight and obese. Lack of physical activity. Low success in school and work. Feelings of guilt. Anxiety. Dishonesty. Depression. Low self-esteem. Loneliness. Headaches. And even carpal tunnel syndrome. Today, images are flashed to us in posts by the thousands, generating feelings of need. Social media has become the most powerful social conditioner of all time. It's pushing everyone to present their own ideal lives and watch the ideal lives of their friends. There is nothing wrong with posting in and of itself. The question is, why are we posting? For many, it delivers constant, instant, free gratification. People may find that they are staging their life to present a good picture of themselves. Social media can become a way to hide behind the walls of technology. If you want to check whether you are at risk of developing an addiction to social media, ask yourself these simple questions. Do you spend a lot of time thinking about social media or planning to use social media? Do you feel urged to use social media more and more? Do you use social media to forget about personal problems? Do you often try to reduce your use of social media without success? Do you become restless or troubled if you are unable to use social media? Do you use social media so much that it has had a negative impact on your job or studies? If the answer to all six of these questions is yes, then you may have or may be developing an addiction to using social media. In the end, a person may conclude that none of this makes sense. None of this even matters. For too many people, social media is a method to gain one's daily dose of dopamine through likes and recognition. Is creating an avatar based on the attention and validation of others what we really want? It may not be that social media is the villain at all. Perhaps it's the intent we project onto the use of social media that can make the difference for each of us and for those we choose to communicate with. For more information, please contact us at the Institute for Addiction Study. Our link is in the description.